Hey guys, back with another one. So let me just let this sink in for a hot little second. I am so pissed off. I just edited almost a half an hour commentary video to premiere. Oh my goodness. I have a head. And I told my own self, don't do this. Put the track up after you edit it. It might break the, um, you know, the edit apart. All right, in pieces. A half an hour edit down the drain. It was an edit that's still going to come out. It's going to take me longer. That means my day is going to be longer. But it's still going to come out today at... live last night it was supposed to be a after dark live but i was tired you know i started eating got the itis and i was i was off to the races but yeah be looking out you might not get the notifications all the time i've been slacking on my macking and it definitely you pay for it with the algorithm of youtube so I'm trying to play catch up. And even though I messed up this edit and I know it has to go out, it's um, WAC 100 exposing yet again the Blueface family, the Blueface feud, um, some plans that are to come for Blueface when he gets out. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on when Blueface gets out. Y'all, Y'all think that last year was something to talk about. Or something to be like, man, why don't they go sit down? It's like you go to sleep hearing about these people and you wake up hearing about it. It's going to be on steroids. That's how bad it's going to be. Patricia, I know this is from yesterday. I hope I get my notifications that you're live. If not, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. I'm sorry I didn't go live. So I'm going to put this um message down because i don't want no one to be confused thinking that we're thinking today's easter but yeah i was supposed to go live yesterday and i will definitely be putting out that premiere video today you guys will be loving to hear this whack 100 at it again but to be honest with you we know that whack 100 makes up his little lies and you know he at you know you know, he adds stuff to the story. Let's just say that, in my opinion. But he's been the closest to what's been happening behind the scenes when he gets triggered and a lot of them. So we, we got to give him a little bit of credit, you know, when credit's due. So, yeah, he's he's gave he, he gave some juicy details, some juicy um, gossip about Blueface and he also, I guess he was rattling on so much that I can actually tell you what the uh, podcast is going to be about. This will be like the trailer um, prior to the podcast today. But he was basically from from the, the half an hour podcast that I heard that I was editing. He was saying basically that he had told Blueface prior to going to jail because, you know, he had he had to turn himself in on the bot of his probation and um you know he told him man the house is cleared out you know everything's up to date you know so on so forth and you made the decision seven days in to allow Krishan rock to move in so i'm not i'm not gonna be the person to put her out i'm not gonna be the person to uh, put my foot down about nothing because you the one that made you know this call you're, you're the one that called these shots so, you know, that's on you. And then he started talking about, he talked heavily about Carlissa. And he was saying how around 2019, Carlissa just popped up out of nowhere. She was living in Ohio. And um, that kind of confirmed to me some confusion about the o Ohio situation and Dre not knowing who his father was and them going back to Ohio. I thought they were all from California. So that's what I learned from that podcast um, that I edited and messed up. And um, 
again, for those that are coming into the live, I will be airing that podcast. So we're basically doing a trailer right now. It turns into me doing a trailer because we're not going to be able to put that. Um, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I heard all this banging. Yeah, we're not going to be able to put the um, video premiere up right away because I have to re-edit it. That's like a that's an editor's nightmare. So then, yeah, like I said, he got into. She came from Ohio, and that's when everything went downhill. That's the way um, Rock, I mean, um, Whack One Hundred put it. That that's when everything really got chaotic. She came into the the picture. Instead of being a um a mom of a celebrity, she wanted to be a celebrity mom. And she that's how she ended up getting to where she's at now. She has a reality show and everything that has happened for Carlissa, <coughs> whether it's been good or bad for her family, has been and in his opinion, coming disclaimer out of whack 100's mouth. And um you know, blue face pretty much, and he stands on this whack 100 that car he doesn't he doesn't deal with his mother. He doesn't want to have nothing to do with her. He asks his whack 100 not to um say when his court dates are, even though you can look that up. Call, right? We can look this up and put it online. So how come she can't look this up on her own? Just put it online, slap it up there, right? Um, and like he said, which was a good point, he was like and, and, and I'm, I want to say this to you guys, too, and I'm going to rub it in. He was right about this. He was like, think about it. You think that if Blueface was talking to his mother in jail, she wouldn't be recording the call so she can share it with everybody, you know, just to get more clout. So, you know, when you listen to these bogus titles of Whack 100 slap Krishan Rock or something, put pause on. I mean, it, it's the same thing as what WAC 100 said, like with Carlissa, vice versa. If Carlissa was talking to her son on a regular basis, like Jaden Alexis does, Krishan Rock does, WAC 100 does, and Bodine, those are the only four people that I heard WAC 100 mentioning, including himself, which made it four. You don't think she would be putting those recordings online as evidence and also clout so that people could be more drawn to her channel, um, the Patreon channel, also to her follow her on IG. Come on, let's make it make sense. I'd be listening to some of these bogus videos that are going up here. And it's like, we all as commentators, well, I would think respectfully speaking, if a person is being disrespectful in your comment section, just causing problems and, you know, just distraction, Okay, they need to be removed. But I'll bet you a lot of these um, social media, because Krishan hasn't been around, I bet you they are watching like a hawk that comment section, whoever's putting these videos out. And they're making sure that they delete the comments that don't align with the narrative that they're trying to pull or push. Trust me. Because... I remove comments when people are being disrespectful and um, trying to plant seeds and distract for no reason. So, you know, people who are um, putting titles and thumbnails of stuff that as soon as you get in the video, it's not even about that video. You know that they're, they're removing comments that don't align. was saying about Carlissa and I do agree with him on that. You know, I don't agree with a lot of stuff that he says, but I do actually agree with him on that point. Probably, in my opinion as well, record her son on a jail call, period, point blank. So now one of the answers you guys probably want to hear about when the guy asked on the podcast about the incident with allegedly Dre putting pause on WAC 100, he answered it. But it was very brief. He didn't. He didn't say. He didn't. He didn't admit that it happened. But he didn't deny it. All he basically was saying that that dude's on straight jack jacket status. Basically, like he's lost it. He checked out. 
And um, basically, he was saying to the person he was talking to on the podcast, you know, pretty much don't feed into what Dre's saying in a nutshell, because, you know, dudes checked out and, uh, um, you know, kept it moving. And then he's. Because if he got if you got some paperwork that can be found, which anybody can find this paperwork on anybody, it's public information. He said that dude. So it has been confirmed. I, I couldn't remember. I could have swore I heard. 13 years Dre had did, but yeah, it has been confirmed that he did 13 years in jail. Um, Blueface's brother and Wack 100 mentioned that the podcast. He said, and I'm not gonna put that dude out, so it must be some he probably he must have committed a crime, is from what I'm hearing from Wack 100's podcast that is probably a, a, a sin in the street type thing, you know, something that you don't want to mention that somebody did. So I hope it ain't no type of, you know, underage violation type thing. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I, I can't. Because he didn't speak on what the um, charge was that he went to jail for 13 years for. So, you know, until it, that is confirmed, we will not. We will not push the agenda or the narrative over here on this channel. So, um, yeah, he talked about that. And um, he was talking about how, um, you know, he's just not getting involved in what's going on over at the Blue blue House, basically. She could be over there, you know, getting it, getting it in with 30 dudes or um, painting or, you know, he said, he said writing on the walls of, she might burn it down. He said he's not getting in it. And then he was talking about the restaurant that everyone, hey, sweetie, I seen your first message from yesterday. I didn't actually go live yesterday, but I definitely pinned it. And happy belated uh, Easter to you. Happy Monday, Patrice. But, but listen, you're the first one in here, sis. You're the first one in here. That's what's up. Make sure y'all hit the like button on the way in. The like button. Let me put that up there. I'm so busy. I got to make sure I remind y'all to hit that like button. But anyways, like I was saying, so they were asking about the, I guess, the seafood restaurant that they have or something. I think they sell seafood. What's going on with that? He didn't have much to say about it. Hey, Buttercup. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, he, um, he didn't say much about that either. Um, because he don't have his hands in that. Hello, hello, hello. Let me ask you a question as you guys come in here, uh, which is that's good timing for YouTube. I'm taking some of you guys got your notifications. If you did put a Y in the chat, um, just put a Y. Sometimes it's a little delay, so I'm just going to put Y so you know what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, put a Y in the chat if you um, got your notifications because I've been a bad girl lately, and I've been kind of slacking – you can't like over exceed what you put up for the day and then you start slacking on that. Because if you do, the algorithm of YouTube is going to expect that workout every single day. And what happens is when, once you start slacking on your macking, so does the algorithm. And so they stay, they start, they start saying you're not putting in the work. So why should we put the work in to make sure that your notifications are getting out to these people? You're not, you're not putting out the same content in the same fashion or the same amount of uh videos you put up on a daily basis. They're not being put out. Then so we're not going to um notify your people. So I, I've been hearing a lot of people telling me that they're not getting their notifications. That's good. You got your sis. Thank you for letting me know, sweetie. Um, and that's mainly it's, it happens for an, a reason. It's an agendas up here talking about the Christian rock content. You know what I'm saying? There's an agendas when you're not following the an agenda of YouTube. Yeah. It, 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 uh, it messes you up, but I'm getting back on track. I'm going to stay very consistent this month. I thought I was consistent enough, but you, I have to stay consistent as in consistently how I've been uploading from the beginning of that month to the end of the month. And so I'm going to make sure I get back on track with that. I did good um, 
in February, but then I kind of fell off in March. But I figured, ah, uh, YouTube won't notice it, but they did. Hey, Natasha, good morning, sweetie. I got my notification. Natasha, did you get your notification, sweetie? Yeah, make sure y'all hit the like button, but I'm so mad at myself. I need to sometimes listen to take my own advice because honestly, I honestly wanted to. I wanted to get that um, premiere out today, but I don't know. I might put it out a little bit later. Depends on the traffic that's going on on YouTube. I want to make sure that I um, get y'all's attention, you know, so y'all can all see that premiere video. Is You know, I had to make sure when I listened to the podcast that it was um, up-to-date information, but it was, especially when they were talking about the Dre situation. Yeah. That's how I just found out today that he came to California around, I think, a year after Blueface had got um, notified. I didn't get a notification, but I saw it in my recommended. Oh, thank you for telling me. Yeah, make sure you, if that's where you look for your videos to see what's going on, you'll definitely see it in that recommendation uh tab or on the, the uh, uh video that comes up next um you know tab aside or whatever you want to call it but you know for the most part just come over to the channel when you're on youtube just say let me see if she got any new stuff up that i have not checked out yet i didn't but wasn't able to come on until i realized i had to update youtube Oh, wow. Okay, Natasha. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, make sure you also your notification bell is on with the option all. It's the, the bell you have to make sure you hit the all. Because sometimes we, we do blame YouTube, but it's just because people don't have that option all bell on. Ugh, I'm trying to sit up. But yeah, so I'm going to have to go back to the, to the um, drawing board with this, and I'm going to have to re-edit which makes me sick to my stomach the thought of knowing that if i listened to what my brain was telling me i would have not of put the another track on top of the edit stuff i always get my notification that's good natasha that's what's up i kind of figured you always get yours because you always be like the first one in this live when i go live Unless you might have some, you know, you, something you doing and you can't make it, you always are faithful in my lives. Natasha is always. You're like the first one in here, and that's what's up. That's a good thing. Wish I had more like you, Natasha. But yeah, he was talking about that, and then they were talking about um, Carlissa's husband. How does he stay with her and put up with that? But like one thing, another thing, he said that that I agree with. He stays with her because he doesn't know a lot of the stuff until she does it. So, then when he finds out, he'd be pissed off. And that's true. So, you know, he didn't lie. He definitely didn't lie when when um that was asked, you know, well, how does he put up with her? Now, he, they answer, he answered that question promptly. And it's to be understood because he works. I know he's supposed to be retiring soon, according to what Carlissa said, really soon. And um, I know that Carlissa's probably getting her her checks from the show. And it probably um, far exceeds what her husband's making. So that's probably why he's retiring. Because he's, he's retiring fairly young, if you ask me, because he, I know Car Carlissa is in her 50s, like, 52 or 53 or something like that so her husband's got to be around her age or maybe a couple of years older my mother is what 60 my mother kicked my behind if she knew i was gonna say her age but my mother's in her 60s anyway 64 or something like that no she's older than that what am i saying oh i don't want to say my mother's age but anyways um she still works but i think my mother still works because she doesn't want to be bored so I think he's retiring because they're doing well. You know what I'm saying? It paid off moving to um, California and cloud chasing off a of, uh, blue face. 
she 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 went in like a heavy hitter on that on that clout chaser move and she got that bag up quick you know what i'm saying she said if Krishan can do it so can i because that's all she was in competition with she's like i'm his mother how dare he put on a stranger that he met in a few years and now she's a millionaire she came from nothing you know that bothered her Instead of her looking at it like somebody like us, myself, would be like, wow, that's that's something to 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 look up to. It doesn't matter if she's younger than me or not. How many people you know come from nothing and then within a couple of years, they're not even 25 years old. They 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 they're um millionaires. That's that's genius. But no one ever looks at stuff like that. They don't look at the big picture. They want to find the 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 awful things to talk about and drag because, you know, that's just how it is. I don't know what it is. I can't get away from my own kind. I hate to say it, man. Every time I do content, it's always that goes to show how real I am and I and I can't lose who I am. So that's why I always stick to what I enjoy doing and I'm comfortable doing. And and it just happens to be that my own kind gravitates to it. So, you know, I say that respectfully at the same time. It's only applying to the 1% when I say I can't get away from some of you. And that's only 1% because some, some of y'all can be real toxic to each other and you don't want to see people make it, you know, because it, it, it actually reflects on what you're not doing in your life and you, you're jealous. So you'll you'll pretend like you're defending someone that maybe one of us content creators are talking about, but you're really trying to defend yourself. You're trying to dis you want to um, distract um, and take a you want you want people to get discouraged that are uh, up here putting up this content, and you know and it it does work. I've seen people in the Nature Boy sector. It was one um, chick. She started as a real small channel. And um, she did some good commentary, and um, there was a it was a channel holder in the sector. He was like a little bully, and you know I had a couple of you know words with him too. The guy in the Nature Boy sector, and you know I, I let it go for like maybe two days, and then I said, you know what, I have I make the decision here whether or not I'm going to be a drama channel or not, and I I'm not with the drama, and I can't let nobody um you know distract me like that so i said what i had to say my piece i blocked that channel holder so they couldn't put comments on my comment section they couldn't come into my lives i blocked them on instagram everything and i kept it moving but this one lady she was getting harassed so bad from this channel holder in the nature boy sector she ended up taking down her whole channel so that's what people want you to do and um, you can't let people distract you. And the same thing goes for Krishan. I do relate to her. She's just on a larger level. I'm older than her, but I'm saying is, you know, getting the bag on social media. Her bag's bigger than mine. You know what I'm saying? Hey there, Henny. How, honey, how are you doing today, sweetheart? Hi, Stacy. How are you? What is WPW? I'm Natasha, don't you start? You, I'm old now. I'm old as dirt. Talking about W, um, WPW. I know WWF. <laughs> I know shaking my head. But what is I gonna say? Yeah, but um, you, Carlissa came. She came on the set in 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 the worst way, man. She she knew exactly. She was in the bushes, like some of the one percenters that I refer to. Yeah, she said, I'm not gonna be a troll for too long. I'm about to, I'm about to make it happen. And um, I, I'm gonna stop hating and I'm about to get up. I, I'm about to um pack my bags, get on the next thing smoking, and make some money off this. I'm sorry, it was supposed to say wow. Yeah, man, it's crazy, Natasha. People be wilding. And then you know what's so crazy, Natasha? I look at, when I'm looking at, like, YouTube videos, it's, of course, other channel holders that do content on this. But I don't really stay stuck when I'm off, you know, of work. I don't really like to, like, sit there and just indulge in blue face uh, circus content. 
So I look at like cooking channels, mukbangs, you know, whatever my interest is. I don't care what content you do. You're going to always have a hater. You're going to always have someone that's not even in like a drama channel. That that, that they're going to have someone where they'll have to say, listen, if you don't like the way the presentation is or da, 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 go somewhere else. And they don't even have to be doing commentary about gossips or social media gossip, celebrity gossip, none of that stuff. And they still catch smoke. It's crazy. She's scary for mother. The thing she did. Yeah, it is. She's very scary. I'm doing fine, sweetheart. Just getting some airflow with my dog. That's what's good. What's up? Sitting outside and smoking some. Some what? Ooh, I know you ain't trolling that. Good morning. What is that? It's a taste doing today. What is it? Um, smacked. 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 Okay, let me not. Maybe you spelt that wrong. But that just go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'm about to say that just goes to show how attentive I am to my um viewers. I like to come into my lives and, and let y'all know I am paying attention to y'all because, like I said, without y'all, I am nobody. So make sure y'all hit that like button. I'm so mad every time I keep thinking about how I did that edit on that video and I got to do it all over again. Oh, that makes me so mad. I can't believe I did that. And I kept telling myself, don't do that. I'm doing good. Just relaxing before I go to work tonight. That's right. Get your relaxation on. Did you cook last night, Natasha? I got to do this edit all over again. Ooh, child. I don't know what time I'm going to put it out. But I tell you one thing. Y'all better make sure y'all support that, that premiere video. Um, I'm also doing... um. Uh, what is it called? Um, recap marathon. She said, Nope, she, <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah, I'm doing a recap marathon. That'll be at 12 30. I'll probably get off this live a little bit early, but I'm gonna still run my little chops for a little bit longer. Yeah, but, um, yeah, uh, Wack 100 had a lot to say, hunty. He had a lot to say. So per usual, I share, you know, I, I really be interested in what WAC 100 has to say because as soon as something triggers him, he just goes off um, and just speaks on it. Sometimes it's good when you when you catch these um, podcasts because sometimes the podcasts don't really start off being about Blueface or Krishan Rock. They be about maybe some, some dude that's a snitch in the street or something, some beef someone had in the neighborhood of California. And then they might ask about Blueface, how he's doing, when's he getting out, um, so on and so forth. And again, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know this because on my channel, I like to update you with like real information. And um, did you see Lemmy didn't pay Tommy for her? What? I got to look that up, Natasha. I got off early yesterday. And that's funny you brought up Lemmy because um WAC 100 in this podcast, that is why um Krishan Rock, I think in my opinion, didn't get paid the 100000 per episode because I think it's per episode. Uh, yeah, per episode. You'll hear it anyways in the podcast because Lemmy was asking her, asking her, listen, I'm calling WAC 100 to her, right? Asking him, should he pay what she was asking for? And he was, he, the way he was saying it in the podcast was like, he was humbling. Like, like, you know, you know, we can just only imagine what he was saying um, to Lemmy behind closed doors. But on the podcast, he was making it seem like, you know, you know, like uh, you got to outweigh the um, good and the bad, you know, you got to. And then when Lemmy thought about it, that's when he said, nah, I'm not going to pay her. Um, no, I guess a hundred thousand per episode. And, you know, that's how she didn't end up getting what she wanted. Because I, I believe that if Wack wasn't in Lemmy's ear, and the reason why I'm now saying Wack <laughs> is Wack, 
you know, and that's just my opinion. I ain't got no hate for him. And, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't take no sides. So it's not like, you know, I'm a whack a hater and, and a, a supporter of this side or that side. But, you know, you, when it comes to somebody's bag, if you allegedly getting a, a, a cut of it, you know, because it's tied to blue face and you're the manager, why would you throw salt on that? So that's that's what I mean by sometimes I think he mixes the truth with lies. Whack is a hated, right? Tommy is raising hell about her money and she is calling him out. But who's surprised? I don't Natasha. You 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 definitely be up to date on my content. I already told you some of the scamming and scheming allegedly involving this entity that we're talking about and i was telling people to be um to um to be careful cuz we don't know if it's tied in together because a person that's about business stand on business and their name business is being used in a scam ring where they're getting $2000 per person um for for women to be on the baddies talking about feelings and this and that and other and and you got to just cash at me two thousand and you're allowing these people to keep this stuff up you know and you're not even speaking out like um face by nikki was saying so that you can tell people that it don't cost anything to be on the um audition of baddies you're just not caring because you feel like it don't apply to your, your business, even though your name's all written all over it. Just be careful. So I, nothing surprises me with that situation. You saw it. Yes, she saw it. Yes, I'm. So is it on Instagram? Where can I find it at? Because I'm going to have to edit. Because, see, that's what my problem is. I always go from one thing to the next. Because a lot of times, the way I get a lot of my information, even though I still have to do my due diligence before I put it up, I get it from my my supporters. But this month, I'm going to stay on track. The stuff that I already need to put out, I'm going to make sure I put that out first. And then I'm going to focus on like stuff like what the Tommy Lee didn't get paid. I don't see how he got away with doing that. It's not like people are blind. Oh, we didn't see Tommy Lee on the show. That's why she didn't get paid. What's he going to run with that narrative? YouTube. Yeah, it's probably on YouTube and IG. Ooh, cha. And Tommy was talking about Natalie. Ooh, cha. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep saying, like, people don't understand. All this ties in together with Blueface and Christian Rock. This whole, you know, whack 100. Carlissa. Tommy, Tommy Lee. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that maybe Krishan probably wouldn't even have put that she was at Lemmy's. No, I mean not Lemmy's. She was she was with um Tommy Lee, but she knew Tommy Lee was gonna post it on her page. So she, you know, she was, you know, with it. Krishan was on there also. Yeah, I know, I know that's what I'm saying, because she was eating breakfast at the um table. At the little island that they had in the kitchen. Because Krishan looked like she was drinking a Sprite or something. A can of Sprite. And um, Tommy Lee was eating some bacon and some eggs. I, that's when I seen them both together. They could have been together some other times. Who knows? But like I said, we don't see everything at all times and stuff. But yeah, she definitely was on there. And I heard that he was going to have special appearances. And she was one of the people that was supposed to be the special appearance. But that, but see, you, you, what you guys don't get it too, you know how we seen um, Krishan Rock? Well, she could have been a special appearance too, but it was a special, special appearance where you ain't going to know until you see her. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw her, it, it surprised me because I thought she didn't have no affiliation with with them so i don't know well with with television period unless it was her own show she was going to be appearing in did you see the boutique of flowers tommy got do you think they were from oh when she got up in the morning time natasha and she said where's krishan 
No, I think she was doing that like everybody else is doing, cloud chasing off Krishan's name. Yep. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, it, it, she was in the bed, yep. I seen it. But you already know what time it is with that, Natasha. It's a shame, though. That's why, you know, we. I see how easy it is to put pull the wool over people's eyes in this community, but I, I'd rather to not do that. She gave them to her. You know what I'm saying? You know, trying to, like, just make up bogus, foolish nonsense, just like what Tommy did. That was extra. Now, think about it, Natasha. If those flowers, well, who cared if it was, right? But if those flowers were from Krishan Rock, why couldn't that be an intimate um, thing between you and Krishan Rock? Why Why did you have to yell that while being filmed in bed? We didn't see her in bed. Why did you have to tell everybody that to be relevant? So she gave her the flowers for her show. To do a nice gesture. That's what you do. It's like when you go to somebody's house, when you're invited to a dinner party or a cookout, you always bring a gift. Sweet, sexy Stacy. DR, are you saying you're from Dominican Republic, sweetie? Is it, Are you saying DR in the building? But, um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just people are always trying to do, I mean, look at somebody like, um, Soldier Boy. He don't even need clout. But when, you know, Blueface and Krishan was popping, he was doing the same thing. Only thing different, and he was doing it a little after he went to jail. Then it dwindled off because he'll stick out like a sore thumb. Bro, you using that dude for clout and his girl. Why are you still talking about that dude and he's in jail now? Krishan likes Tommy for real, but she knows that Tommy is. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. And that's funny that you observed that, because I think that, that she does, too. I do, too. And I think that she would definitely, if Tommy gave her, like, a shot to for them to be, like, close friends, she would she would give Tommy a shot. You know, she she's a, a good observant observer to things that are not good for her like she's doing right now but i think that tommy would kind of sort of rock her to sleep if she was to like run with tommy i think tommy would act like she she's um really cool and for krishan and then rock her to sleep and betray her that's just my own opinion because you gotta understand some people people that can't handle their liquor or anything that alters your personality and you can't even handle your uh you know, liquor, that right there is already a bit. You see how Tommy Lee is destroying her own career just from drinking. So what would make you think that she would care about Krishan Rock's career? Fake, but she still deals with her because she knows that if anything happens, she knows that Tommy will help her out. Yep. Yeah, she definitely will do that. Yeah, Stacy, you on point. You on point with it. That's what I'm talking about. You on point with it. And I and I and, and I say you're on point with it because I'm listening to what you just wrote here. And sometime I might be, I might write, I'm not right. I might say something and be having a full-fledged conversation. And I'm wondering who's really getting the big picture. And I'll read the comment section. They're talking about some rainbows and unicorns. So yeah, you 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 on point with it. You zero in. You you zero in on you zero and in on all the fluff. I, I'm type person. Forget the fluff. Let's talk about the real. And I think sometimes because people don't want to live in the real and the truth. You feel what I'm saying, Natasha? Because people don't want to uh, live in the real or the truth. They want the fluff and netta. Oh, you against Chris Sean. You this, you that. No, you, 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 you ain't, you missed the point. <laughs> you don't even know what the point is to say what side I'm on. If I'm even on the side, if you was, if you, if you got the point, you would know, I don't even, I don't even got a side. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Yeah. I, I like to, that. just like this video that I edited and then I messed it up. 
I took all that fluff out of there, all that extra fluff, because nowadays even men got fluff with them. You know, they just so extra with it. Like, get to the point. Get to the point. That's how I feel about Stunner Girl. Right, Natasha? But, yeah, um, yeah, she better just tread lightly. She only got a couple more months, and hopefully, you know, Blueface will get out and have her back and not way back. Because she definitely held him down so that he can, you know, look after her. Tommy is not fake, but she is a real person who stands up for her friends. And she has their back to um, the end no matter what. Yeah, she does, but she also gets messy. And see, what Tommy Lee doesn't care about being exposed... Krishan is a more sensitive type of a person, but kind of rough around the edges. But she she has a more of a sensitive um, inner appearance about herself and way about herself. And I don't think she should be hanging around Tommy Lee. On the algorithm, you know what I'm saying? You know, as far as getting to a bag real quick, but it's not sometimes what you do is how you do it to get to the bag. I agree. She had Krishan back with Tamar. So that's good that she did that. Well, <laughs> but anybody would have seen through that was going to be a, a flop. Tamar, she don't act like a sister. She's one of those sisters that be on the you people. Like, she ain't one of us. You people? Like last time I checked, I thought you was a sister yourself. Yeah, Tamar's trying so hard to be not like us that it's, it's sad. Yeah, she should have. She, uh, Christian Rocker should have seen that coming. She should have seen that coming. She really should have seen that coming. But we live and we learn. I'm about to do a recap video as soon as I get off of this live. I'm gonna put the link inside of the description box. I'm gonna pin it there. And, um, yeah, I see a lot of bogusness. Sis, 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 sis. It's really ludicrous. <laughs> oh my God. I just, oh, I'm just, I'm on the floor with it. I just, I just tread lightly with my eyes. Just be careful. It'd be just my luck. I wouldn't do it anyways because that's just not in my character to put out some bogus uh, breaking news. Um, Whack 100 went upside Carlissa's head and put. Her husband in the, the hospital. Something I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I don't know. It's just weird. How do you feel about James' interview? You know what? I'm going to be um real with you, Natasha. I ain't seen it yet. I got it bookmarked, though. I ain't seen it yet, Natasha. And see, all you're doing is almost like, <laughs> Natasha, it's almost like being on a diet, right? And people are just coming out the woodwork um it's telling you to try this try that and it's like no i gotta i'm trying to get to all the stuff that i got listed and bookmarked and i also write stuff down because i don't write stuff down sometimes i will forget and i'll look back and i'll be like this is too late to bring this up even though i do my own commentary on it it's always going to be new because it's my thoughts on it so it's, it's that's new but i gotta stay focused and put this content out in order but I'm I'm getting to that, Natasha. It might be the day, it might be tomorrow. But you know how I don't be rushing to put stuff up. I put it up. I put it up. It'll be somebody else trying to break their neck to do it. Yeah. It, it, it ain't a sprint. It's a marathon. Is my attitude, sis. My opinion. He is really dragging it. But you know what though, Tamar, the same person we just was talking about, who Tommy Lee defended on uh, Christian Rock. They put a battery in his back. I don't even think he was going to sue Christian Rock until they put that battery in his back. I'm telling you. He having headaches. I'm having nightmares. I can't go to sleep without images her hitting me in my mouth. I just can't believe that she really did this to me. I didn't do anything to deserve this. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit that like button. Okay, I can't wait for you. You're live. Yeah. Well, no, listen, Natasha, I'm doing a live recap because just before you came in, I was explaining it. Um, 
sometimes when some of my videos don't do well, I like to recap it so I make sure that my community, you know, is on the same page as what I've been putting out on my channel. So I recap the videos um, in a marathon live. I was crying. I said, no, he didn't. <laughs> well, you know how it goes. People will do or say anything, honey, for a bag and stuff. But I'm going to tell you something, Natasha. Again, they put a battery in his back. I don't think that James was going to um, sue that girl. I think that Tamar and then that other dude that was going off, I can't think of his name. You can retire in the mil military early. You can retire in the military early. What does that mean? I, I I never been in the military and I ain't thinking about going now. And too old to go now. I'm already fighting front line here. <laughs> I don't need to be in all the military. Ooh, child. Yeah, I know there's a lot of stuff going on. I got a bookmark. I have a special tab. has my private videos. It's in a playlist. Nobody can see it because it's a private listed, but it's a playlist for me to look at. And I put all them videos in there. And when I get done with commentary on what I'm going to do and what I'm not, <clears throat> I take them out. She's talking about Carlissa's husband. Ooh, child. <clears throat> see, see, you got me about to eat the cake. Natasha, I'm about to start skipping over stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I'm about to do a recap um, live video now. It is just extremely too long for me to put it up in a premiere fashion. So I'm going to live stream the recap. So listen, I'm about to get off. Thank you all for coming through on my morning live, my 1130 a.m. live. Thank you also to the replay gang that's going to watch this video when we get off of here. Make sure you all hit that like button dislikes are welcome and also because as soon as this video is not live you'll be able to leave a comment down below leave your thoughts on everything that's going on even if it doesn't pertain to this video if you guys seen the james wright situation give me your thoughts or your opinions on that um it says you're talking about carlissa's husband right yeah i was talking about carlissa's husband about how whack 100 was saying that half the time he don't know what his wife's doing until after she does it. So that was talking about that earlier. But yeah, it's it's going to all be in that video I have to edit again. But yeah, I'm going to have a busy day. I'm going to definitely have a busy day today. But yeah, we're going to definitely make sure I don't cut no corners for this month. I did cut some corners and I, I felt it. <laughs> you can't cut corners uh, on... on uh, the owners platforms and they not know that you're cutting the corners. Yeah. I was, I was kind of slacking on my work and it may not seem like that to you guys because I'm consistently still putting up something, but yeah, I, I've been kind of slacking. So yeah, the algorithm has been making me pay for it um, brutally, but yeah, this month we're going to go in hard. We're going to make sure y'all are update with the update. Ain't going to be no bogus breaking news. Carlissa gets coon clocked by Blueface and Krishan Rock, and then the husband jumped in, and then the, no, we're not gonna be having no, 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 what people call clickbait type stuff on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Only in any time anyone even uses that word for me, that's because they ain't looked at the whole video. We don't do all. We don't do that as the world turns. And um, the one life to live soap operas. If it ain't going on, we don't make it um um act like it's going on. The young guy didn't come out to sit sell too late and looking for the young guy to come out. So they went in the he was all bloody and everything. He never said Who are you talking about, um Stacy, before we get off of here? Hold up, wait a minute, let me put some pimping in it. But yeah, I got to look at that James Wright. I've been hearing about it. I've been in the bushes, but you know, I have to look at the direct from the horse's mouth video interview because that's the only way I can really put my thoughts on anything is by looking, listening to it.
diligent. I'll listen. So let me get up off here. I'm getting all tongue tied. I know that's why I said I'm getting confused. But listen, I'm about to put up this video in about eight minutes. Y'all stay tuned. It'll be a live recap. So uh, make sure y'all go over there. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Interact in the chat. That if, even if you've seen the video, who cares? Just see it again. And uh, make sure you interact in that chat box. You know, put, put I don't care if you put SL Davis, I can't stand you. SL Davis, I just hit the dislike button. But put something in that chat box. Y'all get along in that chat because I might not be in there all day. But it's there for y'all to engage. I'm going to put that up in about a couple of minutes. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Stay blessed. You too, sis. Stay blessed. Everyone stay blessed. Love y'all. Thank you for my mods that came through, which it looks like only Natasha came through. And thank you for all my supporters that came through on this morning live. Love y'all. Stay blessed. And I'm out. Mwah.